Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to talk about a new discovery or possibly a new explanation for the mysterious Tabby star. This is a star also known as KIC 8462852 that kind of created a lot of speculation a few years ago because we discovered that there are some unusual patterns coming out of it. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Now, the so-called Tabby Star actually got really big in the news a couple of years ago, back in 2015, when people discovered, or not people, but basically the um, citizen scientists discovered that there were unusual patterns emanating from the star. And essentially what was happening is that it would actually become dimmer and then brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer and brighter very unpredictably, not in a very unusual pattern. As a matter of fact, um, as uh, the scientists from Yale University, uh, under the guidance of um, specifically one person, uh, Tabata Boyajian, started to study uh, the star in more detail, they realized that there was some unusual dimming that were occurring around the star for many, 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 many years. Now, it's still kind of unexplained, but it created a lot of speculation about this potentially being some rogue planets or... Not rogue planets, sorry, rogue comets or possibly um, some unusual phenomenon we couldn't explain yet. Or possibly um, some kind of uh, a collision between planets that create a lot of dust. Or maybe even aliens. Actually, that's why this star became famous, because aliens was potentially one of the explanations. And uh, the explanation for the aliens was that maybe the aliens were building some kind of a superstructure around the star that made it dim, dimmer and dimmer um, as the structure was orbiting around it. Now, all of this was too far-fetched, and as a matter of fact, one of the explanations was a lot more likely, but it was kind of lost because it was too, too simple. It was, well, okay, maybe not too simple, but it wasn't as exciting as the aliens. And today we're going to talk about this explanation because uh, the new research uh, that was actually a continuation of a previous research, um, and this was uh, done by, I believe his name is Mario Sukerquia from University of Antigua um, in Colombia. He actually uh, studied something else and he simulated something else and we're going to talk a little bit about it. Let's actually, for a second, go to our planet uh, in our, in our uh, solar system, planet known as Saturn, because this is where we're going to start our exploration. Now, why are we going to Saturn? Well, very simple. And it's actually perfect. We, we actually landed perfectly in a situation where I wanted to be. Look at the sun as it sort of appears from behind the rings of Saturn. You'll notice that its brightness changes as it passes uh, through every ring. As a matter of fact, we might even be able to zoom in here just to see it in a little bit more detail. Here we go. Oh, too much. Here we go. Now, I, wanna, I want to ju just observe the sun as it passes across the rings. And you'll notice how the brightness changes quite dramatically. And then basically at some point it will actually kind of disappear and then reappear on the other side. But the brightness here, if you were to measure it, would actually be very, very unpredictable, very unusually unpredictable. And so what uh, these scientists suggest, and actually this has been suggested even back in 2015, is that maybe, just maybe, there's actually a planet with rings that orbits very close to the star, known as the Tabby star, and it creates these unusual patterns. Now, all right, well, that sounds like a cheesy explanation, right? Well, not really. The explanation goes a little bit further. It actually talks about not just a planet with some, some rings, it talks about a specific type of a um, basically gas giant with very, very large rings. And the rings that are positioned in a very unusual way that they actually start wobbling as they orbit around the star. And because of this wobble, they change their location every single time the planet comes around. And so the dims becomes become uh, very unpredictable. So maybe this year it's going to be this way. And then the next year, when it comes back to the same region of space, it's going to be the other way, because it wobbled around the star. And the wobbles were explained, or actually even simulated, by the fact that um, as the planet orbits around the star, its rings get stretched quite a lot, because it's actually relatively close to the star. 
and they basically dim the star and create these unpredictable wobbles. All right, well, maybe this doesn't sound too exciting or too fascinating or doesn't really explain things very well until we talk about another star and another planet that we've talked about previously in one of the previous videos. And we're going to go check it out. And because this is actually how they explain the this phenomenon on um, KIC 84622852, also known as the Tabby star. According to these scientists, it's very likely that the rings actually resemble something we've seen before on another planet. And actually, it's already here. Uh, very easy to locate. J1407. Uh, now, you may not remember what this is, or you may not even know what this is, but let's go check it out. This is a, quite an incredible star known as Once Wasp J1407. And it did fascinate scientists back in the days when they discovered it as well because of one very, very peculiar reason. And you're about to see it as I zoom out of here. And this would kind of give you an explanation for the Tabby star as well, because this is what we think, or well, this is what the scientists think actually happened or happens there. There it is. That's what I was looking for. There it is. There it is. Do you see this gigantic ring field with this tiny planet in the middle? That's where we had it. So, once WASP J1407b is also known as Frigid Mega Jupiter. It is a gigantic star, several uh, times the mass of Jupiter, specifically 20 times the mass of Jupiter, with a gigantic field of rings. And I, when I say gigantic, I mean it's like 120 million kilometers of rings. It is a lot of rings. Rings so big, as a matter of fact, that they create this incredible system. Now, on top of the rings here, uh, we also get these gaps that possibly suggest that there is some um, exomoons here that might be speculated just from the, the way these rings look, specifically here and there. So all of the gaps are probably moons that were formed with time. But the size of these rings um, uh, basically give us a suggestion that this is probably what's happening on Tabby's star, or around Tabby's star. So this kind of a gas giant probably orbits very close to the star and as it orbits around the star which is right there i believe there is that star as it orbits around the star we're gonna try to simulate this as it orbits around the star it uh once in a while obscures the star with these tremendously large rings and as that happens as that happens let's see if we can do it as that happens a very unusual pattern of dimming light is formed. Now, okay, I'm not doing a good job here. And all right, so here we go. We're going to observe this in action. So here we're going to have our beautiful star in the background. And then there is that uh, planet with the rings. And watch what happens when it passes in front of the planet. So here's the normal uh, luminosity of a star. And then suddenly, just like this, it starts getting dimmed by the rings and it's very unpredictable and so maybe one year is going to be like this and then the second year when it passes is going to be just a little bit different because the rings got wobbled uh, into a different shape and uh, so every single time every every orbit of the planet around the star the actual patterns are going to be different and every single time as we observe the star every single year it starts kind of blinking almost, but in very unpredictable sort of patterns. And so, if this planet was located a lot closer, which we're going to do right now by basically positioning it a little bit closer to the star, this is what it would look like. So right here, we have the actual planet very, very close to the star, as it would be in the case of the Tabby star. And we're going to just watch... Um, what it's going to look like as we actually disable this. What, should, what it's going to look like if we look at the star from a distance as the planet actually comes in front of it. So here we go. We're going to accelerate time just a little bit. And as those rings, which are kind of almost invisible at this point, as they come in front of the star, you'll notice that it starts kind of dimming and it starts blinking a little bit. There are those blinks. And it becomes more and more apparent because the rings are so big and they're so massive and cover so much of the starlight that these dips become quite uh, dramatic and they are 
somewhat unpredictable because of the way that uh, these rings are structured. So, so here is another example of a different angle when the rings were actually misshapen a little bit by the gravity of the star. And so the year after, this is what it would look like. And when I say year, I mean the year in this system, not our actual year. Because this planet orbits around the star relatively quickly, so it does happen quite a lot. And so notice how it almost completely disappears, and it's barely even visible, and then it kind of starts blinking somewhat unpredictably, and finally it's going to come out of the shadow. And so this will change every single time it happens. And so, all in all, this is actually a pretty brilliant explanation and I'm sure that one day we'll be able to totally and for sure explain what's happening in, um, in the region of Tabby Star. But for now, I think I'm going to subscribe to this explanation. Mostly because, one, it means uh, that, you know, the Ellen explanation can be kind of forgotten for now. And two, which is most important, is that we now may think or may be almost certain that there are at least two systems we found that have these gigantic rings and gigantic gas giants um, orbiting with those rings around them, which is actually pretty exciting. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and hopefully you learned something from it, and discovered what might be happening on Tabby Star, and may have learned about the star you didn't know about before, known as J1407b. Come back tomorrow to learn something else, I'll see you guys tomorrow, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, and share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos. And maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon, because it does help me grow and create better and better videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.